Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to go over lip syncing. Uh, we're going to bring in an audio file uh, with a voice and then lip sync um, the mouth to the audio. Uh, first, what I did is I, I went online and I uh, just Googled royalty free sounds and I found this one. Hello and welcome. Um, and I downloaded it. We're going to use this one for our voice um, and then uh, I googled um, mouth chart, and I and I've got uh, a lot of uh, a lot of hits. There's a lot of good ones. I like this one. It says mouth chart, uh, and it's got the, some mouth positions for um, sounds. Uh, but I kind of even like this one a little bit better. We're going to be using this one, uh, and so I downloaded that one so that we could go ahead and use it as a reference um, to draw our mouth shapes. So let's get started. Uh, back in Blender, this scene uh, we drew in a, in a previous video. I'll have the link in the description. If you want to go ahead and get that done first, uh, we drew this one in a different video. So you can, you can get that done. If you don't have this scene, you can get that done first and then, um, then we'll do the lip syncing. Uh, the first step I want to do is um, create a, um, a separate object for the mouth. So I'm going to go to object mode here and I'm going to add an object. I'm going to create a uh, different object um, and it's going to be a grease pencil, a blank grease pencil object. And here it is. It says grease pencil. It's on the, my in my outline. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to click on the object property. So this is where I can change the name. I'm going to call it mouth object OBJ. <clears throat> and in here is the uh, grease pencil um, uh, stroke. And in this, I want to go ahead and change the name of it also. I'm going to call this mouth stroke. You need to stay organized because once you create a couple of these uh, stroke objects, they all have the same name. So you need to, as you create them, change the names to them. So we have our mouth object. We don't have anything in there yet, but I'd like to bring the uh, reference image. Let's go ahead and add that. Um, go to object mode again, and let's add an image reference. And here is mine in the uh, my uh, projects Blender projects folder, uh, and there it is. I don't see it, but I can edit it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna um, size it down considerably, and then I'm gonna place it right next to him. And the reason I can't see it is because it's it's in a 2D environment. Let me go ahead and and turn on screencast keys that way you can see what the keys uh, what I'm doing what I'm hitting uh, down here on the lower left hand uh, side if I hold down the middle mouse uh, button click and then rotate the scene you'll see this um, reference image still here uh, I'm gonna move it and I'm gonna push it forward so that I can see it uh, when I am when I hit the zero in the numpad, um, I, now I can see it. Uh, one more thing before I uh, start, I want to take this and make it transparent and bring down the opacity so that I can see my stroke when I start drawing it. It's about 0.4. So uh, now I can start uh, uh, drawing in my mouth object in my mouth stroke here it is I have no layers so let's create a new layer and this one I'm gonna call it mouth shapes and we can start drawing in here all right so um, go to draw mode and I am going to pick a pen 
and I need to pick a color and you'll find out that we have no materials let's create a material for this pen um, you click on the material tab here a materials property tab and let's add a new a new material there it is material let's uh, call it black stroke and it's already it already has a stroke and the color is black so if we test it out yeah, sure enough it is a black stroke right now it's 25 pixels and, and let's keep it and find out if that's gonna work for us so um, I'm in the mouse shapes layer and I'm gonna zoom into this and I'm gonna move it to the center all I need to do is start drawing now There it is. There's one. I might, uh, I'm going to speed up the video. And that's it, that's all of them. I'm gonna turn off this layer, this mouth layer. Um, the Well, actually, not the mouth layer, the reference image, which is this empty. Uh, and then color them. I need to do, uh, get my fill, get the fill area, and then there is no fill. Uh, so we need to create, come back here to the uh, materials tab, create a new material. Let's call it, uh, red fill uh, no stroke and yes fill and then let's change it to red to red uh, so that we can let me zoom in on this so that we can um, fill in the tongue and that's it now let's uh, create a new fill plus new, we'll call this black fill, no stroke fill, let's keep it black and then fill the black areas. the teeth uh, create a new material we'll call this new material we'll call it white fill no stroke and we'll call and we'll have this one white and we'll fill in the teeth area believe that's all of it so we have the the mouth positions uh, I'm just going to maybe size them down a little uh, because I think I made them too big for this mouth shape so go to uh, edit mode and select everything I'm also going to hit the L key to select everything that's linked and size it down I'm going to move it uh, here just to see that the mouth shape is about the right size and I'm going to place it out here because I am going to need it uh, when I start when I start uh, animating. So that's it guys. Um, in the next video we will take these mouth shapes, bring in the audio and start the uh, lip syncing. Don't forget to comment um, 
and let me know what you'd like to see uh, in future videos. But in the next video, we will put this thing together. Thank you.